Hey there everybody, welcome to another episode of Tiago's Wildlife. Today I have an amazing snake to show you, the mole snake. Now these snakes are not venomous, but they are not harmless either. This snake can give you a nasty bite that can cause stitches, so don't mess with it. But as you can see, I'm handling it gently and it's staying quite relaxed. Mole snakes occur throughout Southern Africa. They prefer scrubby regions um, and they have a snout as it, that is pointed, making it easy for them to burrow through loose soil, hunting moles, hence the name. They also eat all kinds of different rodents and eggs and birds. They'll even eat tortoise eggs. Oh, this is such an amazing specimen. Pitch black. Oh, trying to get to the ground now. But look at this muscular snake. Powerful constrictor. Um, they average around uh, 1.2 meters in length, uh, but in the Western Cape regularly attain 2 meters or more. So quite an impressive creature. Um, they range in color from a pale sandy brown um, through various shades of brown to brick red brown and uh, into pitch black like this. Um, two common myths about mole snakes are that uh, color will tell you what sex the snake is, but that's not true. Uh, every individual has a different color. It's often uh, region dependent. Uh, what is true though in terms of sexual dimorphism with mole snakes is that males have blade-like teeth which they use in combat. Unlike many other snakes or most other snakes which are very civilized in their combat, mole snakes will actually damage each other um, fighting over a female. Um, these snakes will give birth to live young, 25 to 50 young but as many as 95 babies are born in late summer. Um, the babies look a lot like spotted scarp steerkers. So people will also often say that uh, there's a little baby mole snake when they see a slug eater. Uh, but that's not any plain colored small snake. Um, that looks like in this direction of shape is not a mole snake. <laughs> They're also often confused for, like in the case of this one, black mambas. But this snake has a head that's not distinct from the body. Um, they may also be confused for cobras um, and often killed because of this. But this snake is a great snake to have around. Um, loves to stay out the way like most snakes and is amazing in rodent and mole control. So here we go. <laughs> Just trying to keep it on the hook for you to see. Um, predators include birds of prey and honey badgers. Honey badgers love eating these snakes. And uh, unfortunately enemies include uh, human beings. Um, many are killed on roads at night as well. Anyway, it's not the greatest light for a video like this, but I had to show you this snake before I release it, and I don't want to keep it for too long. So, yeah, incredible specimen. Look at this. It's probably about 1.4 meters long. And judging by the tail, I think that this is a boy. Now give us another little bit of a show there. Amazing creature. Oh, smile for the camera, mole snake. <laughs> okay, it's being so well behaved. I am of course being gentle with it. Um, if they do get irritated with you, if you're not gentle with them, they will hiss loudly and strike out. Um, but that's only if they can't get away. They just want to get away, like all other snakes. Okay, there's our little short educational video on the incredible South African mole snake. It's just, oh, I feel so lucky to have found this. Okay, let's put it back in its container and take it off for release. Thank you so much for watching Tiago's Wildlife. Oh, there we go, Snakey. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Oh, there we go. Wishing you a beautiful day.